Hello, everybody. So grateful that you guys are still joining me for these quick trainings on self-care. And today I want to talk about love. And to me, love is so important. It is the cornerstone to everything. If you are lacking in anything in your life, it's probably because you're lacking in love. And I love teaching people about how to get back into that mindset of unconditional love. And that includes loving pieces of yourself that you are afraid to show other people, that you don't want other people to know about. And when you are truly able to let go of any inhibitions that people are going to judge you or criticize you and just go for it and and share that piece of you that holds you back, you will find that you will be free from so much pain, from so much guilt or shame or whatever comes with that because you're going vulnerable, you're, you're being vulnerable and being vulnerable allows you to stretch and to grow and when you stretch and grow, only good things can happen. So I pulled a card actually and it was so awesome because it was the card of love from my oracle deck i want to make sure i get this in here no nah, it's not working which way do i go there we go this is from my vintage wisdom oracle deck and it was um, produced by victoria mosley and this is what the booklet looks like so i'm going to read to you what this card symbolizes and, and then go into a little bit more detail on how you can bring love forthright into your life and making sure that it is the center of attention in all that you do. So here's what the book says. Love takes many forms. And this is a depiction of Aphrodite, the goddess of love, beauty, and fertility. The otherworldly charm of the distant landscape dissolves into the shimmering golden seas below, as if to light a path back into the heavens. Aphrodite is a water goddess, said to have been created from the foam of the sea. Her spiritualism extends anything that makes her, the heart sing, including music, nature, and the arts. The tones used in this image are predominantly violet, which has the shortest wavelength of all the colors in the visible light spectrum. Violet is a color of the crown chakra found in the human aura and creates vibrant energy that illuminates and connects us to higher planes. A passing dove hovers in the air above Aphrodite, Aphrodite as if enchanted by the hypnotic sound of her music. According to folklore, Pan created the pi Pan pipe in memory of his lost love, Cynix which is still the Greek word name for panpipe to this day. We can easily forget that we are spiritual be beings having a mortal experience. So important, right? At times we are blinded by fear, scarcity, and material survival. Fear and love cannot occupy the same space. As souls, love is what we are and love is where we come from. The appearance of this call card calls for you to realign with the mighty healing power of love so its light can illuminate your pathways. It may be your time to powerfully give or receive love, to forgive someone or overcome issues from the past where there has been hurt and disappointment. Love invites you to leave judgment and prejudice at the door. Love, let her warming rays move through you, touching those around you, whether family, strangers, or enemies. Don't let the moment pass if you are given an opportunity to do things differently by expressing love in some way, no matter how small. Love invites you to dissolve barriers and let in the magic. All obstacles can be trans 
ascended because where love is present with no conditions or agendas, all things become possible and miracles can happen. Love under pins the very foundation of life itself. Trust in its power and look forward to the prospect of giving, receiving, and sharing love. Above all, be willing to be guided by the wisdom of your loving heart. And I love this card so much because, <coughs> excuse me, so oftentimes we get into our focus of our work and our, um, and our job and what we do that we forget to put love into everything that we touch. You know, we're so busy trying to make that deadline that we just shoot stuff out without making sure that we infuse it with love. And when we infuse it with love, it will come back to us tenfold. And remembering to bring love into our business is going to propel you into greater heights. I guarantee it. And so I want to give you an example. I want to say, well, let's say, you know, how can you bring love into a situation that makes you angry and brings you frustration? And I've had a lot of friends who have had their content stolen and refurbished as somebody else's content. And it's incredible to see which ones choose the path of love and which ones choose the path of anger and frustration and lashing out. And those that choose the lashing out route generally have a bit more harsher tone to their business and it reflects that. And those that choose love to forgive, to embrace to embrace the person who did this to them in a loving manner. And what I mean by this is they were able to say, you know what, even though they took this content from me and they called it their own, I'm grateful that they did this because my content is reaching more people. And at the end of the day, I want more people to receive my content. And even if it doesn't come directly from me, that's okay. And when they share that vibration of love with their community, with people in their audience, it comes back to them. It's amazing how much support and positive impact those kinds of messages have on everybody else. That ripple effect of love has power and if you go through it at you know frustration and oh my goodness why did you do that and I can't deal with you and I'm going to bash you on social media you know it really doesn't reflect well upon you when you go that route but when you take the higher road and you play from a place of love even if it's hard because it is hard having your content stolen and refurbished by somebody else. That is really hard. That is really difficult. And being able to forgive and reaching out to that person and saying, I forgive you and I'm sorry that this happened, but I still want to make amends and I still want to grow. And how can we fix this and turn it into an opportunity that will benefit both of us? So, when it comes to your own business, I want you to reflect on how you can turn bad situations around with love. Because when you turn it around with love, that's going to reflect on you. It's going to allow you to not have that stress of frustration and anger that you might be feeling. You're going to be lifted, you're going to feel lighter, and you're going to be able to expand on a more healthier way, right? So take time to look and reflect at how you respond to different things in your business. Do you respond with love? Is it neutral? Or do you respond by some other emotion? And how can you incorporate love 
into your business more for greater self-care for your business. So thank you for joining me. I'm so excited to hear your thoughts about today's episode. And I look forward to hearing you in the group. Take care and have a great day.